Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. We are going to talk a little bit about knife safety. Uh, the blood circle, the triangle of death, and different ways to cut um, in a safe manner. I structure a lot of my training based on the Pathfinder Youth Adventurer Training Program that Dave Canterbury puts out. And I will link to his stuff below. This is my little disclaimer. Just keep in mind, you know, everyone is different. Everyone has different skills. Everyone has a different strength. Um, you know, do what's best for your kids. In, in my case, a lot of times I try to make it fun. Um, again, I did this board that you're looking at right now. It's more of a cartoon kind of board. We have fun. We sat down and we thought of ideas. Um, they drew it together. They drew it in their notebooks and um, so they can keep it in their backpack if ever they have questions. I do recommend for the kids to write in notebooks. Um, write down everything that you're saying. Um, I, again, I did it like a, a cartoon-like. I gave them colors um, and crayons and you know they got really creative with it, but I really think it sticks in your head when you write it down. I also want you to keep in mind too that my, my kids have only had a knife for maybe a month to two months. So this is brand new to them and they are learning this as well. But they wanted to do a video for other kids to watch and they can also teach other kids the knife safety. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with a knife. There's a lot of stuff you can create with a knife. Um, right now they are just looking for just the safety part of it and then we'll get into some little bit more of crafting with the knife. Okay, Kyla, if you could talk a little bit about what the blood circle is. Okay, so the blood circle is like around you wherever you can reach with your knife because then you could cut someone. So that's basically if they're in your blood circle, they're probably going to get cut if you like accidentally do this. Can you point it in the, in the diagram that we made? Um, What's the right. blood circle? So it's kind of around, it's wherever you could reach. So is Madison in your blood circle right now? No. Well, not sure. Almost. Very close to being in your blood circle. So can you show me what your blood circle is then? Right here. Okay, and you want to always be aware of people around you because there's a lot of people that don't know you're carrying a knife, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that there's, if people are coming around you, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to stop using my knife and put it down. Yeah, you're going like, to put it away. Yeah, you're going to close up your knife and put it away if people come around you. Okay. Yep. Okay, Madison, I want you to talk a little bit about the triangle of death and what that is. We got this nice diagram here. Let me show it a little bit more detail. And you can, you, you can point to the diagram, because right now I'm just showing that. This is the triangle of death. And basically, the, tri the triangle of death is right here. And it's because... Wait, show that again. Okay, the triangle of death is basically right here because the biggest your biggest blood veins is right here and if you cut one of them you will basically bleed to death and it would be an artery yeah. yes sorry artery mm -hmm. the biggest artery and um, if you cut it accidentally um, you will bleed to death or or you have to like save yourself with a towel wrapped around you, but basically you always have to cut outside of the triangle of death. Which would be which areas? Like you could do the knee lever, okay. you could do the chest. Chest lever? Yep. Yeah, sorry, chest lever, and uh, you could also just like cut on the side. Okay. Just don't go near here, because, or here, um, because it's the that's where the biggest blood veins are. Okay. So you have your knife protected right now. Could yes. you show what not to do and what to do with that stick in front of you? Just keeping your knife protected. Okay, so what not to do is maybe you can't do this because that would be very bad. Or you can't do this 
because just in case if the it breaks, you never know. Or you slip. Yep, yep, slip. It could bump into you there, and you could you can't do this. And uh, and even though it's not in, it's still on top of the triangle of death, and it pretend this stick breaks. You you could hit this. Okay. Now show what to do. To do with the stick is you could do this is the knee lever, and you could do like that and point your knife out away from you and uh, Rocky and also you could also do this but like that and uh, that's like some reasons some examples to do do it right yeah do it right <laughs> So we did, we did on our board, we did talk about some of the things that, you know, just to remind ourselves some safety stuff. Um, Kyla, do you want to just go over some of these bubbles at the top well, and then push it um, on to Madison? There's a wheel of people around you. Can you, can you speak up? So, um, on the wheel of people around you, you, it's basically if someone's around you and you're having a knife, you have to make sure they don't go in your blood circle. So you have to close your knife. And a knife slice, knife slices, not to push cut. Um, basically, you want to do like knife slices, not like this. Because you get more control, right? Yeah, it's more control. Yeah, and just knowing how the knife cuts is important. Mm -hmm. Yep. And only use if you have to. So basically, if you have this stick and you want it to break, you could basically, if you can still break it, you don't have to use your knife to do it. You could you break it with your foot. Yeah, you yeah. could just break it instead of trying. Yeah, that's good. And on good control of your knife, you want to have like really good control or else if you don't, you, you might cut yourself. And, um, yeah. Okay, Madison? So there's also is don't don't cut towards yourself. So it's just like just don't just don't like cut like that. Pretend you can't like cut like this because it could break. Or cut like that. Upwards is really harmful because if you slip, it goes right into there. And also. Um, the knee lever, you have to, the knife has to stay away from you, and you have to move. The knife stays stationary. Yeah. So the knife does not move. On, so on it's, your knee. Yep. It, but your, but the stick moves, so it's more control. That's probably one of the safer cuts to do when yeah. you're outside. It also removes a lot of product or wood material yeah. by doing it that way too. And for the chest lever, always keep the blade not towards you, not like that. You have to do it like this to keep the blade away from you. And uh, the chest lever takes off like a lot of wood. And for me, I don't, I'm not a fan of it, but it, if you really want to take a lot of wood off, like a lot of material off, I recommend the chest lever and that's basically like don't put the knife towards you. Okay Kyla's going to show the knee lever. So Kyla go ahead and put the knife on the knee and what she's going to do is pull back on the wood but keep the knife in the same spot. Um, this works really well for Kyla in creating her feather stick. So you can see some feathers. Feathers go in there. Pretty good, Kyla.
Okay, so Madison's going to show the chest lever. Well, Madison, you're already in position. Let's get out of position here. So you're going to point the knife at me. And then you're going to bring it towards your chest. And then you're going to rotate the knife flat where the blade is pointing away from you. There we go. And then she, what she's going to do is she's going to move both her wood and her arm at the same time. This is really good for removing a lot of product, a lot of wood. Okay, let's see how it's done, Madison. Okay. That's pretty good. Sorry. It does take practice to do it. Try to keep that knife a little bit flatter. There we go. See. This is not her not her favorite cut, um, but she can still, you know, we got to improve on it, and we'll still work on that one. Um, but uh, she does like the one at the side of her knee. Um, or right now, she's she's now demonstrating the, the, the knee lever. <laughs> she likes that one better. In fact, you like the one on the side, right? Where you're on the side of your leg. This is this is her favorite. This is what works for her the best. And again, it's really what works for you. Everybody's different. Good job. So here's Kyla, she's opening up her pocket knife. If you wanna know how to safety with a pocket knife with kids, we have a video to that, we will link to it. And she is working on creating feathers for her feather stick. Um, they are again new to this, so this is something that takes a lot of practice. So that is what they're doing right now. And we're emphasizing mostly here is safety. Good job, Kyla, you got some going. Let's see if I can zoom in to see. See if you can create some feather sticks for me. Some little feathers. There we go. Good job. Good job, Kyla. Okay, let's move on over to Madison, see how Madison's doing. Okay, now Madison's gonna work on practicing for her feather stick. Um, she can't use her pocket knife um, because it is not a locking knife. So she has a, a more of like a bushcraft type knife. She has a SOG. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on that one. This is actually one of my older knives that I've had for a while that I'm just letting Madison use. Okay, Madison, let's see what you got. Okay. And remember, we have to hold it like a hammer. Oh yes, hold it like a hammer. With the thumb around. Good job. And see how she's she's doing it safely. She's not in her triangle of death. She's doing it to her side. That's what's most comfortable for her. Let's see if I can zoom in to see some of your feathers here. Pretty good, Madison. So again, they're practicing their feather sticks. Um, this is a new skill for them. It does take a while to to hone in that skill. So, and we have plenty of wood here for them to play with. Yep. <laughs> More wood than we need. Like ten years. Yeah, I think so. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is just a safety and for kids in carving wood. Um, we went over the blood circle. We went over the triangle of death, the knee lever and the chest lever.